Good morning. We are we are in Mason, Ohio at the King's Cross course. Cincy CX day numero uno. I don't know if you can tell from the lenses, but maybe my get up gives it away. It's raining. Boom. Yes. The mud tires are on the bikes. We're gonna go rod, take some laps. We're gonna see what's out there. We didn't ride the track yesterday. But I just didn't really want to. Wanted to ride inside, stay dry, keep the bike set up, rode the rollers, so now we are here. Now we are here and we're gonna find out where to turn left, where to turn right, and where it is slick. All right, let's go. Cincinnati, you definitely like your off-camber. I mean, off-camber is good, but we, uh, we're traversing every knoll, nook, and cranny out here. That's, I mean, that's good. Not, actually, it's not bad, but holy smokes. We are walking across the track here. We're gonna see what's in the woods. Uh, course is good, course is greasy, course is slippery. Oh, come on, talking. <laughs> Definitely the name of the game out here, which is good. We actually dropped the pressure a little bit. We're on the terrace higher. Now, I'm always on 25 for mud tires, like pretty much no question. However, I feel like the tire was just a little too, just too, it wasn't, wasn't moving. So, dropped down to 25. No, dropped it from 25 to 23. So 23 front and rear. Just gives it a little bit more flat profile, a little bit more bite, because it's, I'm not gonna say it's not muddy, but it's not a tractor pull mud. It's just, it's just grease. It's just, just greasy. We don't. We just need. We need to flatten that tire out, give some traction. They're off and running with a Mads Elite race. Here they go, taking right out from the gun. Steven oh, I got it, but look to his right, Curtis well, White. Well, Jake. it's all about. Oh, we're focused. Okay. Okay, it's dark out. Because when you race at 5.15, it's, you race till 6.15 and it's dark. It's almost dinner time. Yeah, race went well. These guys are still hustling. We, uh, we got cleaned up fast to help everybody clean up. I don't really do much. These guys always crush it. Uh, today's race went pretty well. Um, we ended up, I think, ninth. And I know, it was ninth. It was definitely ninth. It was ninth, okay. Definitely ninth. We ended up ninth. Uh, got a, I mean, a freaking fantastic start up to like fifth, fourth or fifth, no and then we sort of reshuffled. We did a, we did a quick slip and slide in the mud, and uh, dropped back to I think a, as far back as maybe like 12. That would have not been good. And uh, we chased back some more. We had some good little some bumps, you know, some happenings, and uh, ended up ninth. I'll take it. It's freaking awesome. So. King's course, slipping around in the mud. It's gonna be good. Tomorrow should be even better because we got more mud and a new track. So, sick! How, uh, how do we recover after a solid day of racing? Pop a shot! <laughs> a little rusty at this. Last year I scored 100 on this thing, and I got 34. Time to do more. And welcome to day a dose of the Cincy weekend. We're going for a two for one. -er. Two for one. -er. Uh, what what is what what is this ball in the sky? It's friggin' warm. I'm sweating out here. Uh let me I'm just gonna walk over to the track here and Hit you with the facts. It's, it's like concrete out there. It's absolutely like concrete out there. It's a friggin', friggin' road race. The number of times that I've been in the Midwest for races 
and Cincy in Louisville that this has happened to me where it's been super muddy and then a road race. It's just, it's astronomical. It seems like every year. You're like, yes, the mud is, the mud is here and the wind picks up and, and it just goes away. All in a second. The wind is gusting. It's supposed to be upwards to 45 miles an hour today. It gusts. That's pretty, pretty strong, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what to say about that. Mud, man. I want the mud. sitting over here tying his shoe. He just rolled his ankle. And um, we should probably go warm up here soon. We still have, call the meat wagon. We still have 45 minutes, we got plenty of time. We started pre-riding with half an hour. Man, it is gusting, gusting. Serious? Look at this guy's tent. Look at the tent. Blown away. Oh, they're suffering. They're suffering. There goes Amanda Panda. Right there. Go for the pass. Nice work. Alright, post race. Post race. Full gas today. Full gas today. <laughs> Pressure washer fireworks. <laughs> Woo, okay. We're getting cleaned up quick because it's about to rain. Uh, during the race, full chaos, right before the race, full chaos. You saw before, in the probably in the last clip, uh, sun's out, gun's out pretty much, 75 degrees and sunny. Now, as we were warming up, the cloud cover rolled in and it was gusting super hard, bringing in the weather. So about five minutes later, I run back to the pit, tell Richard, take the mud tires to the pit as well. We're hustling, we're, we're jamming. He goes to the pit, we go to the start, all is good. Uh, about two laps in, rain starts to come. We holler like, straight to mud, straight to mud. So we switch the bike. I was thinking it was gonna be full blown Formula One, like intermediate, box, 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 hit the pits, but it was not. It held off. He switched off in the, in the pit, and I was waiting another half lap, another half lap. It kind of kept drizzling, little greasy, one, two turns. I was like, just another half lap. These tires are so much faster. And then we had nothing, and I finished it off. We finished on the dries, so tracer for the day. Didn't have to go to Terra's. I kind of like that, like, scrambling, like, strategic. Go cool down and just ride this around so it gets dry, because I, okay. I don't think it's set and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like this idea. Yeah. I'll come back in a sec. We're back. My balls are still glued together. Yesterday in the race, uh, my glasses off the start just got covered in mud because of the road fling. So then uh, I survived for like three laps with them, but I had to toss them. So I tossed the glasses, and I never do this for this exact reason, but two seconds later, mud. Like, so. Ended up having to sort of like rub that, move that out of there, and then now I've just had this like blinky, like fog thing over my eyeball. That's why you keep your glasses on, people. Duh. Anyways, weekend in Cincinnati, complete. Uh, I need more B-roll. Working on the B-roll. We're gonna we're gonna get that B-roll back. I did get a race clip, at least one one here. Check it. Cody's right here. Cody's Come on, Cody. Okay, and uh, two successful days of racing in Cincinnati. It's always been a 
it generally has been like a real good hot day for me and then a cold day. I've never had a successful weekend of like straight through here. This weekend I'd say was ninth, ninth on Saturday, seventh on today's race and Sunday. Um, yeah, I'll take it. Stoked. Surprisingly did better uh, on the full gas, just high speed day today. Today's track was so fast, so fast, but good flow. Flow is key, so I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, well, let's end this here. We're just gonna call it a day. We'll see you guys soon. See you guys soon. Yeah, Cincinnati weekend squished into one video. A little longer, a little bit more fun, hopefully. Keep you entertained. We will see you guys soon. Over and out.